I'm mere moments away from driving over my laptop in frustration. Let me show you why. So I'm just trying to do some schoolwork and this is my laptop and this is my little brother's laptop. Same thing, same login, everything. By the way, unfortunately my name is Ryan Kelly so every login I ever get given to me is R. Kelly. Yeah, not my choice, just very unfortunate. But now watch this. Sign in, we do a little clicky do and then we're gonna do a click up here because that other one's slower. And we wait. Well, that one failed. And that one's redirecting. Boom. In. What? What? Why? TikTok just auto-deleted my bio. Like, this is today. Like, right now. And, uh, this is it yesterday. So... What? What? Like, what about this makes it not okay? I don't... What? What? Here are my favorite bios I found on dating apps. Some scary, some awesome. Here we go. Y'all, this is a person who's drinking from this mug in their first picture and like, wake up, check. Do good is not checked. That is concerning. This person confused being an edgelord with common sense. The chillest person with absolutely no chill. That doesn't make any sense at all. If you love pizza, can make a burger, and aren't a freaking liar, we'll probably get along great. Wow, okay, so at least you're not coming in with baggage. <laughs> I am a high school ceramics teacher just trying to get off these dating apps before a student finds me here. That is both honest and hilarious. This one might be on me. I don't know what bully mom means, but that sounds just like your mom that teaches your kid how to be great bullies. And that, that doesn't sound great. And then there's this one. <laughs> just the whole bio is no sex before marriage. Hey, if that's what you believe in, cool, but... Do you like cats? Like, what are your thoughts on flowers? Like, this can't be all of you. Oh God, I'm doing it. <sighs> I mean, to White Castle again. Like, we're talking third time this week. Like, their drive-through is called the Crave Zone. Do you know what I'm? Do you do you understand? Oh, and by the way, it's 5:21 a.m. Like, White Castle's known for their sliders. At 5:30 in the morning, I decided I needed some chicken sandwich sliders. So here I am. And I'm not gonna say the quarantine has caused me to lose my mind, but like, I am sure that every time you eat White Castle, you lose at least two months off your life. And you know what? Worth it. I cannot for the life of me convince TikTok that I am 18 years old. If you're a creator, you notice in the update that TikTok gave out this ability. It's you can connect with brands and all you have to do is have like over 100K followers, posted three videos in the last 28 days, it received 100K likes in the last 28 days. And uh, I've done all those things, but wait, there's this last thing. Oh, I have to be 18 years old. I've graduated college. I work at Disneyland. That's a lot of where my stories come from. You have to be 18 to work there. Do you all see this liquor? It is a delicious Japanese whiskey, and you know who bought it? Me! I did! By myself, with my ID that says I'm over 21! So TikTok, I may not speak for the brand or the company, but I do speak for my age, and I am over 18 years old, so get it together! Hey Jason, can I get a high five? No. What about a little one? Fine. Pokemon! Oh, I almost killed you, Ryan. That's okay. A few moments later. For some reason, and I don't know, I just killed you. I'm sorry. It was a spray. Yeah, no, no, no. You killed that other guy first. You definitely rechambered around and then shot me. I just want to let you know that. I don't, I, I refuse to believe that. You're probably right, but. Can we get a playback? <laughs> Twelve seconds later. I just killed you. you didn't, there was no one else around. You just shot me. You shot me yeah, and like, only me. My dad caught me sleep sprinting. Here's a happy, wholesome Father's Day story. So I have insomnia, sleep paralysis, night terrors, and sleep sprinting. It's like sleepwalking, but if you had places to be. And so I wake up in a dead sprint. Now, I have night terrors, and night terrors differentiate from nightmares because night terrors, you wake up having a panic attack. And if you haven't had a panic attack, lucky you, but it's like if you wake up, you get tunnel vision, everything around you whites out, and all you can feel is fear. And I wake up with that while sprinting. It's a bit tough, and so that happens recently and it happens pretty regularly and my dad felt that something was going wrong in my room and so he got to the top of the stairs while I busted out like I was trying to just heroically save the day and I'm panicking and that's a tough place for anyone to step into and he sees me and he just immediately gives me a hug 
and immediately calms me down. He's been the only person that's ever been able to do that. And I'm so thankful for my dad. And I hope everyone else who's got father figures and people in your lives that are surrogate fathers, I hope you have a really wonderful Father's Day.